Hey you guys, this is Kiki Ola. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I'm here at work. Um, it is raining beautifully here. Um, and I got some food here, so y'all come on and eat with me, okay? All right, so I just brought some food because I wanted to get on the road early because it was raining. Got some black eyed peas, some turkey, some jollof rice, and I believe that's some chicken. So, Lord, I just want to say thank you for this food. Take all the impurities out and provide nourishment for our body. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I will try to set this thing up. And talk to you guys. Let's see. I'm sorry. We'll see how that works. Hopefully, it's not too crazy. Can y'all see me? Anyway, hopefully, y'all can hear me too. I was running good. So. I'm not going to be on here long because y'all, I'm reading a book on Audible by Kim Cash Tate. It's my first book of the year. My goal in Jesus name is to read a book, at least one book a month. Um, I started with, um, I finished December with uh judge lynn toller um dear sonali letters to the daughter i never had and now i'm reading a book a uh, christian fiction um called um though i stumble and y'all really want to get back to my book I really want to get back to my book. I'm also um, challenge do that home challenge. I didn't want to start today. I wanted to start tomorrow. And so my plan was when I got off of work I would go to um in and out and that'd be my last outing but it didn't work out I was sleepy baby I was sleeping and so I just went home and made me some um mm. yeah I put smoked turkey in my um black eyed peas um so I went home and made me corn dog and french fries and went to sleep Oh. 
This is going to be very impromptu. But you guys, I'm going to eat. And listen to the rain. Um, one subscriber told me to stop talking while I do my mukbang. So... This really ain't no mukbang. Mmm, but that rain is so beautiful. If you had black eyed peas on January 1st, put a, a pea pod or a pea in the comments. I do also want to say thank you guys for your support. Your comments. Your views. It is greatly appreciated.
And like I said, I hope this uh, angle is not crazy. We're going to have a good shift. Bless the Lord. From whom all blessings flow. Who remember that song by Out of Eden? Baby! If you were a Christian in the 2000s, baby, they made sure us Christians in our 20s didn't miss nothing that was happening on in the club. Dark Child and all them. Out of Eden, Toby Matt. Where you at? Um... What was their name? Ah, I'm looking right at them. Man, I can't even think of their name. Grits. Um. So many of them. But, um, I done even had this song busting. Baby, I love when it rains. Me just talking to Jesus. It's raining. I don't have no place to go. I feel a quiet in my soul. Saying I should talk to you. Tell you everything that's on my mind. Baby, just sit back and meditate. I just want to think about it. Hey! Y'all, y'all want me to go back. God, it's been so good. God has been so faithful. God has been so good, so faithful. And a lot of times, y'all, a lot of times we say God is good, God is faithful because he's done exactly what we wanted him to do. What happens when he, do, he has not done anything you want him to do? Does that mean he's not faithful? Does that not mean he's not good? Oh, I didn't mean to go here. I didn't mean to go here. But God is so good. God is so good. I, I read in church yesterday. On Sunday. 
We know his mercy endures forever. But the Bible also says God's truth endures forever. So no matter what we're going through and how we may perceive it, the truth of the matter is that God's truth endures forever. A lot of times when you're having a conversation with someone and a misunderstanding happens, it's because their perceived truth of what you said isn't what your intentions were. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you went through. But God's truth endures forever. And his truth is what? That he has come to give you life. And life more abundantly. And that he wants you to live in the fullness of joy. And he wants you to live free. So if you feel like you're in bondage. If you feel like you have no joy. That's not God's truth. That's your perception of your reality. Of your truth. That's a virtual reality. But the true reality. Is joy, peace, love, long-suffering. That's what the truth is. And he said his mercy, along with his truth, endures forever. I, I always knew his mercy endures forever. But also his truth. I don't know how I got on that. I don't even know how it's related. But y'all, that means a sign. Let me get off this phone. <laughs> Let me get off this uh, YouTube. But anyway, I just want to sit back and meditate on God's goodness. He's brought me from a mighty long way. And he's bringing me. And he's bringing you. You guys have a good night. Thank you again for joining me. God bless you. Good night. Pray for you, sis.